In this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we revisit two rising soccer players in California. A year ago, we introduced you to the Thompson sisters, Alyssa, who is now a senior, and Giselle, who is now a junior. Alyssa was coming off an amazing sophomore year in which she was named Gatorade's National High School Player of the Year. That was a complete honor. I was so surprised. My family didn't tell me anything. I thought I was there to have an interview for like the California because I knew I won that. Um, and then they just came out with the National Gatorade Player of the Year and I was so surprised. I did not think I was going to get it because there were so many other amazing athletes and players that could have gotten it. So I was really honored. The girls' profiles have risen considerably since then. They became the first high school athletes to sign name, image, and likeness deals with Nike. The Thompson sisters were born just 13 months apart. Being so close in age, they've always had each other as training partners, whether it's for basketball or track when they were young, or as they've developed into high-level soccer players as they've gotten a little older. Yeah, it's really nice because she's obviously like stronger, so I think she helps me and motivates me to like be a better player and she just pushes me to become a better player and I think she inspires me to be better because all of the things that she achieves and that's kind of what I want to do. The girls' strong relationship proved to be especially helpful when they started playing on boys' teams to challenge themselves. One girl playing on a boys' team may feel out of place, but when she has her sister right there next to her, that provides a certain level of comfort that allows both girls to just keep going. Even at a younger age, I think we've been above our level, I feel like, because we started playing with boys at a very young age, and I think it's definitely helped and improved our skills over the years. We started playing with them just to get our game better. Obviously, the boys have a faster pace, and you have to play quicker. So, you know, when they were younger, they were fast for girls, and in soccer, for girls, they would put the fast players up top and, and just kick it to them, and they would run and score goals. And I guess my mindset at that point was, I think it was important that they played multiple positions, but most girls' teams, they would put the fast player on top and play there. So I just thought, like, I'll have them play with boys, and on the boys' teams, they would put them as defenders, as an outside back, and I think that's where they picked up a lot of their, their ability to play the game. I feel like it's the right thing, and I do fit in. They are a lot bigger and stronger, but they help me a lot. They help me get better. I feel like I, I hold my own. Just playing with boys, is, that's not the end all be all. Just put them on boys, they're gonna end up being good. No, that's not the case. So I think it was unique where they had each other. Wherever we went, whether it was another girls team or another or boys team, they had each other. So they enjoyed what they were doing. I think it would've been different if it was just one going to a boys practice. I, if they would've said, hey dad, I don't wanna do this. I'm not comfortable with it. My approach would be a lot different as a parent, but because they had each other, it made those transitions easier. But don't think these girls are all about athletics all the time. They both do very well in the classroom at Harvard Westlake, which has rigorous academics to go with its storied athletics department. The girls also take time to give back as they're involved with community service projects like No Kid Hungry. So I picked No Kid Hungry because it helps create a community around me and I've been helping also with the food pantry. It makes the little kids day when they have food. You know, we as a family, we value good character. We value just treating people the right way. So we talk about this all the time. You could be the greatest, whatever that is, soccer player, athlete. What we think is more important is what kind of person you are. And I think that's what makes them special, just them being so humble. Our parents have always said, be a good person first and then academics and then soccer. But Harvard Westlake helps so much in our academic journey. While they're both still in high school, the Thompson sisters are looking forward to more academic and athletic challenges in college as they are both committed to Stanford. I definitely think it fits like perfectly because it not only has the athletic side, but it also has the academic side. A degree from Stanford will help you in life after soccer. and We know we can't do soccer our whole lives. Both girls are continuing to make their marks not just in high school, but also in the U.S. soccer program. Giselle helped the United States U-17 team win a CONCACAF championship and also competed with them at the U-17 World Cup in India. And Alyssa? At 17 years old, she recently made her debut with the U.S. national team, meaning she may have a chance to make the roster for next year's Women's World Cup. Whether she does or not, don't expect Alyssa or Giselle to slow down anytime soon. They just may be the future of U.S. soccer. My ultimate dream is to be on the full team and not just be on it, but be like a key player, a star player, a starting player. As parents, we have high expectations. We have expectations. They've exceeded my expectations as a parent. 
and it's just it's just been exciting to see their their growth. Um, it's been exciting to be able to be a part of that. But the biggest thing for us is just they're doing it together, which is very unique. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.